Good morning, Tehmina Khan is here in TK Maths S1. In today's video, we will solve two questions from the paper June 2024, Variant 62. It is S2 paper of A-level mathematics, code is 9709. Question number 5 is related to linear combination of Poisson distribution. And question number 7 is probability density function. 6 is little longer, hypothesis related, I will make a separate video on it. So in this question, they are talking about the number of goals a team is scoring in the first half, which is represented by the variable x, lambda 3.1. And the same team is scoring goals in the second half, mean is, or lambda is 2.4, variable is y. x and y are independent event, and you have to find a probability of x less than 4. We know when it is less than 4, we have to calculate x is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3. So simply I am applying the Poisson formula and getting the probability. Next part of the question is, you have to find out the probability that in a randomly chosen match, now he is talking about match, it means first and second both half will be considered. The score is at least 5 which means greater than or equal to 5. And now we will add up both the lambdas because we are talking about match. So here I have added up the lambdas and this is the probability I will calculate. So whenever it is in boson greater than, we always do 1 minus less than. You know the reason. So equals to is with 5. So for less than, we will not include equals to. So less than 5 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I have applied in the formula and I got the probability. This part was tricky. It is related to conditional probability. Condition is that in a match there were 5 goals. But you have to find the probability when the first half has 3 goals. Now if first half has 3 goals. Then how many goals happen in the second go half so that altogether they are 5. It is understood 2 goals only then 3 plus 2 will be 5. Right? Because otherwise it could be maybe the first half has 1 goal, second half has 4 goal, maybe the first half has 0 goal, second half has 5 goal or the condition which can add up to 5. So we have to consider the case when the first half has 3 goals because it is given to you here. The second half has 2 goals and that is why I have written this condition here. That you have to calculate the probability when x is equals to 3 and y equals to 2. Given that x plus y equals to 5, sum is 5. So what we will do, we will calculate the probability of x equals to 3, x equals to 2, oh sorry y equals to 2 and x plus y equals to 5. So you can note the lambda here, what lambda I am using here, right? For x, for y, for x plus y. And then simple calculate the probability and apply it in the conditional probability formula and you will get the answer. So I hope it is understood. Seventh question which is related to probability density function. First part was easy. We know when we have to find out the constant given in it, then for the whole interval, the answer is equals to 1. And we simply apply integration and get the answer. Okay. Now, second part. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to verify that the median of x lies between 0 0.83 and 0 0.84. Now, let me try to explain to you the meaning of the question. Suppose this is a line. When we have to find out the median value, on either side of it, the area is 50-50%, right? So, this median value, question is saying is lying between this. Suppose 0 0.83 is here and somewhere, anywhere, but this side, 0 0.84 is here. Not equally, but anywhere here. So, what I will do here, I will find out from 0 to 8.5. 3, 0 0.83 the area by integrating. Take okay, a probability I am calculating. 
so when i will calculate 0 to 0 0.83 probability i found it is 0 0.4991 because it is less than 50 percent it means the median is after this i hope you understand this concept now what you will do is easy to understand now now i will do from 0 to 8.4 and my answer has to be has to be what more than 50 percent if my answer is more than 50 percent it means median is lying here so now i am doing it here and my answer is 50.44 percent so this proves that the median is lying between 0 0.83 and 0 0.84 last you have to find the exact value for the mean <coughs> you know in probability probability density function when we have to find out mean we multiply the function by x and after that simple integration but what here it, what it becomes it becomes a integration by parts this was something tricky <coughs> so let me calculate integration by part separately here and then we will come back here okay because we know the integration of this is x square upon 2 so let's here integrate by using integration by part and i got this formula right this is the formula for integration by part and this is we are getting here so now in place of this i'm writing this formula here and then up after that upper limit minus lower limit so i hope you understood this you can write your comment for further clarification and if there is a calculation mistake please check it and let me know please press like and subscribe button in my next video i will solve question number six thank you very much for watching take care allah hafiz